Hi all, this is Prakash Vastava and educator on an academy. Follow me on an academy learning app and find my many more courses. And in this lesson, let us study about the diversion networks, its different components and look at the how actually it works. Any hydraulic structure which supplies water to the off-taking canal is called a headwork. And the headwork can be actually divided into two classes. It can be a storage headwork or it can be a diversion headwork. A storage headwork comprises the construction of a dam across the river to store water, whereas a diversion headwork serves to divert the required supply into the canal from the river so these uh, we will study about diversion headworks here and the hydraulic structures which are constructed at the head of the canal in order to divert the river water towards the canal so as to ensure a regulated continuous supply of silt, fl silt free water with a certain minimum head into the canal are known as diversion headworks. What is the objective of providing diversion headworks? To rise water level at the head of the canal, then to form a storage on both the banks of the rivers so that water is available throughout the air. Then uh, to control the entry of silt into the canal and also diversion headworks actually are provided to control the fluctuation of water level in the river during different seasons. Now let's see the different components of a diversion headwork. I've drawn uh, diversion headwork which actually consists of all these uh, different uh, structures the first one that is most important to all of us is a wheel and what is a wheel wheel is a barrier constructed across the river to raise the water level in order to feed the canal then we have, uh, these are called divide walls. In front of divide walls, we see this type of structure and this is actually called fish, fish ladder. This is your approach channel. And these are all the scouring sluices. You can see this is the main canal. And there is a head regulator provided here. This is a marginal bunt and these are guide banks. So the different components of a uh, diversion headwork actually consists of a weir or a barrage, divide wall, fish ladder, approach channel, scarring sluices, silt prevention devices then canal head regulators and river training works like marginal bunts and guide banks let's see why we provide a divide wall a divide wall is a masonry or a concrete wall constructed at right angles to the wheel. It extends upstream to a little beyond the beginning of the head regulator and downstream to the launching apron of the under sluices portion. The function it performs is it helps the under sluices with lower crest level from the wheel then 
It helps in providing a comparatively less turbulent pocket near the canal head regulator. And uh, that actually results in deposition of silt in this pocket. And thus, it helps in preventing the entry of silt into the canal. It, then again, divide walls actually helps to keep cross currents away from the view. Cross currents may cause formation of vortices and result in deep scar. Then fish ladder. Most of the fishes have a tendency to move from upstream to downstream in winter and from downstream to upstream in monsoons, most probably in search of warm water. And this is actually not for fun. It is necessary for the survival of the fishes. So, fish ladders are designed to protect the fishes and maintain a maximum flow velocity of 3 meter per second. And this actually ensures the uninterrupted movements of these migratory fishes. Fish ladders are provided near the undersluices where there is always some water in the river section below them. A grooved gate is provided at the extreme upstream and downstream end, end walls of the fish ladder. You can see the baffle walls are constructed in a zigzag manner to control the flow velocity. Let's see. This is a fish ladder. Here it is a divide wall and you can see the baffles. These are the baffles and with this arrow mark I have shown the movement of the fishes. Now come to undersluices. Undersluices or scarring sluices means the same thing. And these are gated openings provided at the base of the wheel or barrage to maintain a deep channel in front of the head regulator. And dispose of the heavy silt and a part of flood discharge on downstream side of the barrage. The crest of undersluice portion of the view is kept at a lower level than the crest of normal portion of the view. Normally, the gates are kept closed. The suspended cell goes on depositing in front of the canal head regulator. When cell deposition becomes appreciable, Gates are open and deposited silt is loosened with an agitator which is mounted on a boat and then we get muddy water which flows through the down towards the downstream through the scarring sluices and then the gates are closed but we, uh, we open the gates during high floods. Now let's see about these canal head regulators. A canal head regulator or head sluices is a structure constructed at the head of the canal to regulate the flow of water. It consists of a number of piers which decide the total width of the divides the total width of the canal into a number of spans called bays. The piers consists of number of piers on which the adjustable gates are placed, which can be operated from the top with suitable mechanical devices. For proper operation of regulator, 
uh, bridges provided spanning over the piers and a function it basically serves is it regulates the supply of water entering the canal it controls the entry of silt in the canal and it prevents river floods from entering the canal so these regulators are actually very important canal head regulators for the safety of your views now please go through this lesson and in our next lesson we will be studying more about the views and uh, till me till then keep studying stay focused and have a nice time